I'd like the police department, please. Yes, thank you. Hello. My name is Curtis. Curtis. Our 13 and a half year old boy hasn't come home this evening and we're... Uh, yes, we live at 111 Collins Avenue. No. No, he's never done anything like this before. Yes, it is. Yeah, thank God. Yes, I know where it is. Yeah, we'll be right there. Thank, thank you. He's okay. I'm Arnold Curtis. Yes, the boy's in this office right here. Here 
you're all right. He spent the night in the store. Didn't wreck anything. The manager said to just forget it. Glad to see everything turned out all right. Thank you. Now, would you mind telling us what happened? I had a dry night. What? I slept in a big bed and it was dry. What did the police knew it was going to be? You spent the night here? How did you know it was going to be? You, you mean you just ran off and I spent the knew. night here where your father and I went crazy I worrying about you? I knew. We were up the whole night. Is that why you ran away? was going away? through our minds. Will you answer me that? No, my sheet. I called the school. All Nancy of your Rizzo friends. Saw it. I was but I know I can stop stuff. now. Do you I understand swear me? I know Stick it. Stick to my stuff. John, I am speaking to you and I expect an answer. Alice, will you please shut up? I will not shut up. You and... Shut up! I've been answering all the important questions. The trouble is we haven't been listening. Neither of us have been listening. Worse than that, I have... I haven't been honest with you, John. See, uh, I used to wet the bed, too, when I was your age. What? Yep. I know I should have told you. Dad. Hell. I did it till I was 14. Uh, you folks are gonna have to clear out. Store opens in 15 minutes. This office is going to get real busy. Okay, we'll wait outside till you open. We're going to buy a new bed. Don't tense up, especially in the upper body. Hey, Coach. Yeah, Curtis, how are you? Fine, sir. I decided to run with the varsity. What about the homework? I can handle it. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Hey, Frankie. Yes, sir? Hey, get Curtis here set up with sweats and shoes. You bet, Coach. Follow me. Hey, glad to have you with us. Okay, boys, let's go. Hey, Frankie, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Hey, Nancy. Uh, uh, where are you going? Home. Uh, you in a hurry? No. Uh, I got practice here for about an hour. Uh, you maybe got some studying you can do here? I thought well, you and me could walk home together. I'll wait. Good deal. Uh, I guess I'll see you in a little while. Yeah. Hey, Curtis! Yeah, Coach? Aren't you dressed yet? Start him now, Coach. I'll catch up to him. Uh, I, I guess I'll see ya. See ya. Yeah.
On your mark. <laughs> okay, Ray, stand by. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Good evening. I'm Ray for Johnson. Seated next to me is John Curtis, a young man who has won yet another gold medal for the United States team. John, welcome and congratulations. Thank you very much, Ray. We're going to run the tape of the finish of that race, the grueling 26-mile marathon. John, look at the monitor over there and see yourself running the victory. How did you feel here? Well, I felt good, Ray, for real good. I knew I had a big lead. I'm just trying to run easy, run relaxed. Were you as fresh as you look? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not, Ray. For... That's hard to believe after 26 miles. What is it that makes a man want to run those kind of distances, to drive himself like that? Now, if you had to give one reason for your running, what would you say? I guess I have to say I... Uh, I owe it to my mom and dad. And I'm sure they're watching out there in California and are pretty proud at this moment. Mr. and Mrs. Curtis, watch your son as he runs for home that last hundred yards. 